Testing, one, two, three, hello, hello, we are testing. Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft Living Large. And today we're gonna start off with some building. Got some background music going. Cause every time I I try to or I mean to do some building, I'm like, oh we'll do that later in the episode and then it never gets done, so Got some materials here. I also got a chest at the end of this wall with some more materials. I don't think we're going to make it to the end. But anyway, my idea was to turn this island into a castle. So we're going to see how that turns out. And I like what I was doing before on that wall that I had over there where it was textured. It wasn't just flat. It had, kinda had, it had some bits that stood out. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to follow that pattern. So I had to, so I'm gonna start at the water level. I might go down and do the bits under the water later, but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. You can see down here my storage room. Oh no, it's over there. My storage room is kind of pulling in here, so I might make more windows and entrances and hidden rooms there underground that come up here. Oh, I can't make it up here, can I? Maybe if I eat first before I use these ender pearls. I'm wearing my feather falling boots so I can ender pearl all around. It's two or three hops to make it all, all the way across. Yeah, I did fix my mob system. Uh, I mentioned last episode that it was having problems because <laughs> I built redstone on top of dirt and then the, uh, the enderman were stealing the dirt and breaking it. So it's, it was it was it's working surprisingly fast now. So much faster. So happy about that. So I think I want to go up only five blocks. Yeah, this is where creative building gives you a little bit more speed because you can just kind of not worry about scaffolding. So I want to use these guys here just to break it up a little bit. Actually, it's going to do this across here. Actually, maybe I want to make these a little bit further apart. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Building with Sam, where I change my mind way too often. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this, do it like this, because I like I like the contrast here. Well, I mean these blocks have contrast anyway, but I think doing something like this, and then still going to going for two here, take out this middle one. This will be good. Now we're we're not gonna do this for the whole episode. We'll build for maybe five or ten minutes, get one little panel done, and then I can repeat it off screen. A bunch of times make sure it looks good on a larger scale I did lots off camera too so later in the episode we're gonna look at a new f a new farm design I have I totally redid my wheat farm my, my mushroom farm going and look at my mob farm a little bit I got the beacon set up we'll look at that so lots in store for today I think uh, there's my five going up like that That was one too many. And then this again. Yes. And then one right here. Okay. I kind of want to stand back and check that out from a distance. But now this is where I'm not sure if what I want to do. I, I, I was going to do, I was thinking about doing these guys, these fences in the middle. But it looks kind of goofy. Plus, then we'd have to put something back there. I don't know. So what I think I might just do is just more of these again. Kind of repetitive, I know, but hear me out. We're going to have kind of a horizontal, um, maybe not stripe is the right word, but this record's weird, kind of weird, isn't it? I just picked one at random from my from my box over there. I have so, I have so many of them. That I figure to start using them. So here, if we maybe do kind of like like windows here. They're kind of floor level, level windows actually, but and then bring this in. I don't know if we want this to be stairs or just blocks, but and then we could do either another fence here or one of these. Maybe we could do a glowstone lamp in the middle later. A little bit like that for now. Yeah, and that kind of acts as a balcony. 
Although, so yeah, we, I, I don't know if we want to take this gun to the ground or leave it out, but what I might do is do another one of these going straight up above it. Yeah, and then, and then do something more cool up on the next level. I started here because at the end I'm going to do some sort of maybe tower here. Or I can continue if I want, and then I can go down this way. Yeah. This is a pretty easy way to do it. I just go up five, dump down, feather falling saves me some damage. Go up five again. If I were making this higher, I'd probably just ender pearl to get down every time. Or if I didn't have maybe feather falling, you could ender pearl down every time. Falling in the water would be too much of a waste of time. But this is how, you, this is how I build strong, tall structures in survival. You just kind of lay out your pattern first, the way you want it to look, and then just keep sending it up. Okay, let me, let me just stand back here and take a look at this now. Wish I had a boat or a platform out here. Oh, there is a boat. Oh, that's a sheep. I killed a lot, a lot of the floating animals out here that had escaped. Yeah, I think that's okay. I, I don't want it to be too fancy. So if, if you think it looks a bit simple, that's that's okay. It's kind of a good thing. I want it to be plain, so other other parts of this are going to be the focus. But yeah, that's not too bad. The fence gates still look a bit... I'm still unsure about those. But we do want something in the middle there to break it up. No. I think I'll let's see how tall it is from in here. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe one more level higher. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so we've almost got the second layer. Or maybe, what is it? The third panel. Down up here. I don't want to go too much higher than this. Because this is just the outer wall. We're going to have height in other places as well. You can see my beacon there shooting up to the sky. It's lovely. It's useful. Doesn't reach this far though, it only reaches a radius of 50 blocks in a circle. So that's not bad. I might get, okay, I'll get, I can get more off screen or later. So there, there we go. That's what we want from, from that. Now, we need some stairs next. I'm gonna do a little bit of a lip or a balcony. Kinda like in the far ta tower, the first one I made by the villagers, how it didn't just go up, kind of had a lip that made it shoot outwards. I'm going to do try to do something like that here. So if I get I get this one as an upside down version, yes, like that. And then it kind of goes in like this. Now this this top lip, I, I just stepped out just now to build in creative and that did not work out the way I planned. I need some scaffolding here. One second. Okay, let's get back out there. So if I just go up. Right here, give me a little bit of space to come out. We don't want to get too high. We want to be able to get under, underneath this. That's perfect. Maybe one higher would have been okay. Yeah, there we go. And then we want to do that. And actually, I think I'm going to bring this out one more. So my idea was basically is that this is going to be a balcony, right? So oh, I should have brought ladders. That would be so useful. So that up here, I'm going to half slab this out and then we can bring it out a bit this way too. So it's kind of maybe a four or five wide like walkway. You'll see on castles often they have like a walkway on top of their wall. And then, and then what I might do is I might have a little one or two wide gap and then have like another wall right here. To the, the inner wall, and that can be made of wood or wool or whatever we want it, we want it to look like. Not like wallpaper, and then I have a little secret passageway here inside the wall, and that can like be a little hallway to lead us into places. Maybe a ladder now and then to get up to the top up here. See the lookout. Maybe it pops out now and then. That's the idea that I had. Or I might just leave this one thick. I might not do that one, but either way, we want this little. Oh, can I just do this to get on top? How's my throw today? You know, I bet I can get up there if I hit, if I hit the right, the corner of that scaffolding just right. 
Almost. Can I just... There we go. Okay, so what I want next is one of these. Bring it out a bit more. Now, I know, I know this is kind of a lot of nether brick all in one space. It kind of blends together, but... I think it'll work out pretty good. Just out. It kind of ties out this sticking out part with the rest of it. And then here, we'll just half slab up all this. I don't know. We we might not want this as the white bricks. We might want, we may want something else later. There we go. There's our little balcony. That's still a little plain though. We want to dress it up a little bit more. See what I can figure out to make it look a bit better. Okay. I'm back. I've got an idea. I just need to get some lamps. So I need to figure out a way to get down and back without wasting too much time. So if I make a big target there that I can ender pearl into, I can get back down here, grab some lamps, come back up. It's more than enough. I took out that ladder and now it's <laughs> a pain. Yeah, now if I just shoot, shoot for this. Perfect. Yeah. This is what I've always wanted. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put the lamp right here. Get my stairs out. Like so. Yeah. I just want to see what this looks like from both sides. That'll pretty much sum up the building for today. I just want a lamp on top of on top of the two pillars. So one right here, right? Yeah. And that still leaves yeah, five in here. Something like that. Okay, this might this seems a little goofy at first, but See how that looks. Yeah, it gives it kind of gets a bit wider at the top there, so it looks like kind of like a cap on the pillar. It gets really dark under there, so those upstairs downstairs might not be the best. I might want to change up something with that in the middle. It makes it just a big dark spot, but it's, it's pretty good. Okay, next. I want to show you something cool I've done over here. So the items from my mod trap were filling up so fast with this new setup. It was amazing and brilliant. Oh, nothing's falling right now because I was probably because it was out of the area. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I built this little hole here. Because often you'll get spiders that survive, or guys with armor that survive. Like, there we go. So I can come in here and poke at them. And then I block these side areas off. We don't need the whole thing exposed. And then we had items shooting out to the sides here. This little thing looks pretty cool. I was thinking about doing this for the main wall, actually. Having lava dripping down. One of the builds in my intro movie actually has this. I had that from my server. It's a cool way to get lighting without torches. We don't really need lighting with half slabs, but... And then everything organized here, all my goodies. I looted a bunch of this bone meal for an automated farm that I have. I don't get too much spider stuff in here. Uh, this I can turn into wool eventually. These are just put here just so I have a way out because there's no, there's no way out. I didn't want to put a ladder that kind of looks ugly. So this is my only way out. So I put a chest here so I always have them. And then I made this only one wide instead of two. It's filling up pretty good. I'm getting some pretty good enchantments too. Like Respiration 2, Aqua Affinity 1. I mean, it's leather, but if you repair that, it's good for harvesting clay, right? Let's see if I can get out like this, I think. All my records are still there. Uh, what, what other good one did I have? Feather Falling 2, some chain armor. For the falling four, projectile four, yeah. So there's some good stuff. So 
Sounds like some guy with, has armor on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This is looking good. It's working good too. I tried to steal most of its iron for something. This chest was almost full. I thought I had iron for days, but I emptied a lot of it out. Actually, it's filled up pretty good now. But I emptied a bunch of it out for the beacon. I was hoping to use emeralds for this, but I didn't get rich enough fast enough. You can't use lapis or redstone. It has to be iron, gold, yeah, diamond, or this. Gold, I still want to make that emerald farm. So you can see my buffs. I have haste, which is basically it adds, I think it adds one level of efficiency, so it makes this as if it was efficiency five. Hard to notice. But you have to pay one iron every time you change it. So I, I have it on haste and regen. I could make it to haste two, or I can make it like regen and speed, or I can make it speed two. And then these ones are combat jump boost, you can jump two blocks. So that's pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty useful. Regen is great, so I've been running around without armor on, as you can see. Now this is something I made. I saw a tutorial for this actually a while ago, a month or two ago. It's fairly new, it came out in April. And I actually had forgotten about it until I was working on this wheat farm. Actually, the reason I was starting to work on this is because I noticed something interesting happening here. Actually, let me get set up first. Well, by set up, I mean I have to grab some seeds. So when I was working on the, the mob farm over there, I had to, all the water dispensers were screwed up and I had to have to, I'd had to turn some of them on and off because, you know, the water dispensers have to be all on or all off at the same time. Anyway, I noticed that dispensers was destroying my items. So you'll see I'll put down two seeds there. So if I break it with water, I should get a seed back. Same thing, I do that, right? You break it, you get two seeds back because it's not grown so you don't get anything else. Now, same thing with the piston. So if I do that, this is the old way of doing farms that I used to always use. You just have to piston hold them in water. Because dispensers, they used to not actually drop water. They used to just do that. That's what dispensers used to do back in the day. Now they work with buckets. Anyway, with the, so the, with the old style, you see, yeah, it pops off my two seeds. It doesn't destroy anything. Works great. So with it, if that, and if that seed was fully grown, I'd get the wheat. Here, if I turn this on, I have 62, that only gives me one. It actually destroys the first thing here. So if I do that, there's no seeds. Because, which makes sense, I mean, it, it takes this full air block and says, whatever is there, you're dead, I'm gonna replace you with water. So my wheat farm is not very efficient. I was actually wasting a whole bunch, a whole row that was in front of the dispensers was being wasted. So I was thinking, okay, I can just, replace this block with cobblestone or flooring or something. Or maybe put the dispenser up top and facing downwards. But then I was thinking, okay, well, I spaced it out so I could have, you know, it was eight blocks wide because water hydrates four blocks in. So I have water on both sides, eight blocks, it works. So I was like, no, I'll just tear it up and make one of these. But then I'm like, oh man, then I still have to make one for carrots and potatoes. And do I do it the same way? and it's gonna take up all the space. And do I really wanna to commit to it over here? Cause I'm selling this stuff to villagers and so they put it with my animals so I can breed with it and sell them. So, and then I remember this thing here. So, well, no, next I was thinking, okay, well, I, it's annoying to replant all this stuff. It's too bad dispensers don't plant seeds for you. But I remember that they dispense bone meal for you. So if I, if I planted a seed, and if I had bo bone meal in one of these, it would hit that with bone meal for me and grow the plant for me. So there's a machine that does this for you. I did not invent this. Ethos Lab did invented this. If I remember, I'll link in the description. Just remind me if I forget. So let's see, I have 59 seeds in my inventory. So what this does is basically just a clock to remove that soil block up and down. So when it's down, it triggers the dispensers to use bone meal on the seeds, which makes it grow into wheat. And then when it pop, move, when the piston moves up, it kills all the plants. So I just hold down my button. I w it's not really right click because I use E instead of right click. So I'm, I'm just holding down E right now. I don't use E for my inventory, but you would just hold down right click and bam, 
I mean, it uses between one and a couple of bone meal, up to three bone meal per wheat. Because it used to be only one per wheat, they changed that. So we could, it's either two or three bone meal per wheat. But you get three bone meal for one bone, and I have a chest full of stacks and stacks of 64 bones, so what do I care? If I can come here and do that for, if I can come there and do that for, you know, a minute and a half every now and then, get some stacks a week, and leave it alone, I'll be laughing. It even works with carrots and potatoes. And cocoa beans. Now cocoa beans don't grow in dirt. I mean, car carrots and potatoes would work the same as wheat does. We have a jungle log here, so if we, if we can do this all right, right. There we go, 20, 22, 24, 26. Which is great, I mean, this big wheat from the one they had, it looks cool and it works great, but it's slow to harvest. And then you still have to go back and replant everything. Same reason why, you know, I was never using this. I mean, part of it is that I don't really have much use for cocoa. The other part of it is you have to stand here and replant everything, which is which has actually gotten a lot easier since I since I removed the half of the wall because I can just stand here and do this. I mean, it's easy to replant, so this I might actually keep because I don't know it's kind of cool. And it's something that I built myself. Is I keep tearing down my old bills, bills, which kind of makes me sad now that I think about it. I tore down my cow cooker. I tore out my tree farm. I'm tearing out this. Tore out my wheat farm. Farm. This I just stripped the skin off because I wanted to make it more look more like a castle feel. So don't be surprised if one day you jump in and I have randomly rebuilt some of my things, like. I might build in a wheat farm just for fun that uses pistons, just for the look of it. And I might bring back a tree farm or something just for luck. But anyway, I was gonna build this right in the episode, but I couldn't do better than the tutorial actually does. And I mean, it's just a clock here. Like this little circle here is just, just a clock and then it sends power to all three dispensers at once, as well as to the piston, which is right there. I know, right? If you request it, I can rebuild this in the next episode, because I actually want to build two or three more of these anyway. Maybe even four, because I want one for each crop. And I don't want it located here. This is kind of out of the way. Plus, not really on this side. I want to use this space for something else. I want to build it over there. Last thing I want to check, is my mushroom farm even working at all? Let's check it out. Did I fill it off with dirt last time? Any mushrooms? No mushrooms in there. Why, why is there an ax here? I don't even know. No mushrooms growing at all. So I'm doing something wrong here, I guess. Do I still have a seed mushroom here? I think my seed mushroom is right. Okay, I have a seed mushroom. It's supposed to grow, it's supposed to be able to grow diagonally through blocks. So through this little diagonal corner. That's what I read. It seems to not be doing it. So either it's really slow or I'm just impatient and it hasn't grown yet. It seems like it's just slow because I have I have other places where I just random places in the world. Ooh, that went farther than I thought it would. Like there's some, one spot down here. Like I found random dark spots in my world. I'm like, oh, I'll just plant some mushrooms here, just for fun. So I plant one, it turns into five after a while. I don't know, but that almost wraps us up for today. I haven't done anything new or exciting. I did a little bit of glowstone farming. I harvested some glowstone. I used up some, some dirt and some fire resist potions. Tried to get some more gas tears. I think I got one. I don't know. Died in the nether to some pigman, but I got my stuff back. So there was that. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do some building off camera. I'm gonna build out this wall a little bit. I'm gonna flush it out. And uh, next time, 
we'll see how it looks we'll see if i do if i tear it out if i do something new anyway thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed leave a like and a comment if you feel like doing so it really helped me out and i'll see you next time as always let me, let me know if you have any ideas or requests of things to build or to do hey kitty i need to build a fishing machine too anyway see ya